The plaque idea came about when I was approached by Chris Hill and General B.B. Bell on a way that we could uh, capture the history of the Army ROTC program when it was originated in 1950 and, and capturing that part of, of Chamberlain Field's evolution as it's progressed from you know being the football field with the stadium and the dormitories where, where we, you know, Army ROTC had our, our armory and our offices and our cadre and, and we held everything from formations out there to, to running our battle drills. By giving the ROTC detachment in those days access to Chamberlain Field for a place to learn drill and ceremonies for young cadets, to learn discipline, how to put on a uniform, how to engage in a disciplined way with a leadership, a chain of command, if you will, how to do those things out in the open. You know, we may have a, a smaller program, uh, you know, comparatively speaking to some of the larger you know, uh, universities, but we're pumping out just as distinguished military graduates, general officers such as you know, General B.B. Bell and General Mark McDonald. Uh, so we, we have a, a long distinguished, uh, proud history at UTC Army ROTC. The Chancellor immediately said first, uh, we were not fully aware of the great history. So, I mean, I really applaud him for being straight up about it. And second, of course, uh, we would like to follow up the dedication which had just been conducted with another opportunity to recognize what went on on this ground many years ago and over a long period of time. So the um, support of the administration was stunning. And I think when you look out on Chamberlain Field today, it looks a ton better than it did in my era. It was a bunch of dirt in those days, but now it's groomed, and it's a place where students go with pride, dignity, honor, and grace. And uh, now they know a little bit about the history.